Hey humans, how's it hanging? I'm the Nerdy Beard and today I am playing World of Tanks. I'm currently in the Tier 8 American Heavy, the T-32. Now this vehicle is excellent if you are working at Ridgeline, it has a very strong turret, but a pretty rubbish hull, so um, in terms of uh, raw armour, probably not what you're looking for if you really want to be uh, you know, a really big lump in front of your team. Uh, taking the shots, but certainly if you have the opportunity to get hold down, this tank is very competitive. Not so much with the gun, but it is quite accurate at close range. It only has, I believe, 190 pen, might be 198, so it's not, uh, not particularly uh, awesome in terms of the guns that are available at tier 8, but uh, certainly can deal out the damage. With a quick reload, uh, in my particular crew here, 10.16 seconds, uh, I don't have the best crew, still working on its first perk, but uh, you know, you're looking at uh, other, other tanks, uh, the low obviously premium up there, he's a little bit quicker, but say for example if you were looking at a Tiger 2 who had a mediocre crew, you would definitely be able to reload just a little bit quicker than him and uh, deal out the damage. So here we are playing on the Abbey map. Now I like to take, as most you can see most of the heavies on our team have, we all like to go down this 1-2 line. It's uh, generally good, especially for tanks that have good gun depression and good turrets, you can get in amongst the hills that you see just in front of me here where the other low is going and the IS-3 up the top there you can really work the uh, the hills and all the available cover through this section here so I'm about 8000 XP away from the M1A3 the T9 Heavy on this tree and I gotta say it has been quite a good grind this tank it's uh... Oh, what was that? ah you mongrel <laughs> where was I? Okay, so it's uh, it's been a reasonably good grind. It did take me quite a long time to get used to how to play this tank effectively. And uh, probably about 100,000 XP, I think. So quite a number of games before I was really comfortable with using this machine. And uh, sometimes it happens. You know, I uh, really love the T29, the Tier 7, the uh, tank before this one. Brilliant tank, absolutely awesome. And it felt like you didn't even need to try sometimes. The tank would just perform for you. But this one definitely is another story. Um, let me just see if I can get some damage in here. That E75 is a really tough nut to crack. This, however... Good! <laughs> a little bit of a snapshot there. I think I'm lucky to hit that. But, uh, happy to do some damage. Um, so as I was saying, yeah. So it did take me a little bit of time to get used to this tank. And, uh, you can definitely tell by the fact that, uh, I don't have the highest, uh, crew in here. At this stage. I was probably dreaming then. Um, yeah, only, only working on their first set of perks, so I haven't, haven't been, I suppose, the, the world's greatest performer, unfortunately. Oh, damn, a bit slow on that one. Uh, but yeah, definitely, it'll, it will be a keeper once I do unlock the M103. So, just having a look to see what's happening. Don't want to get too far ahead of the team. The, the tank is good in a supporting role, but it isn't the greatest if it's one-on-one -on -one with other heavies. They tend to be able to uh, take advantage of the lower pen and uh, get through your soft hull. But I think I might need to get amongst it here our team is starting to push up. And that there, the T-34, that is the premium tier 8 heavy. One of the ones available in the American heavy line. See that big, big fat turret on top of that there. Makes it a very effective at uh, working grid line, ridge lines as the T-32 is. Okay, now what have we got going from here? Oh, oh, maybe? Good! See, that's what I was meaning there, guys. So that T-32, it was, it was a big angle on that there, and the hull just doesn't hold up. You can pretty much get through it any way you're looking at it. Um, which is why I'm trying my best here to sort of use this little incline, not push out too far, but still try and take advantage of any shots that present themselves. Now, the E75 is going to hammer me if he gets a shot off, so I do need to be careful here. But I also don't want to miss out on the damage. Let me see if I can get any... Oh, okay, he's out, so now it's time. So I'm reasonably confident I can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with another T32. Uh, hopefully nothing else is behind him there, so let's go. Now, that tortoise has taken a bit of a hammering, so I might get amongst it and see if I can help him out for a minute or two. Ooh, that one's what he's reloading. Oh, that's going to hurt. Ooh, very lucky to have that happen. Okay. Okay, so that was into my turret. As I mentioned before, it's a very hard lid. So, if I can just get back here without having to burn a repair kit, that would be awesome. Alright, here we go. So it looks like the uh, low round was absorbed into my tracks. Excellent. And the T32 probably just saw, oh look, a tank and fired. So very, um, very lucky to get away with no damage there. So let's see if we can get a bit of an angle on this here. Do some work. Okay. 
Okay, good. Good solid bounce, that's what we like. Uh, nothing's going on now. We don't have to expose too much of our hull there. It's uh, be a bit nasty if I'm the only one out here. And you see the other guys behind me have uh, taken a bit of a hit. But with any luck, the other team can start pushing around these guys and uh, we can start putting the herd out. Thank you. Very nice. That was almost a gift, that one. <laughs> oh, and yeah. And there's the low. So letting that T-34 come through was probably not my, uh, my smartest decision there. But it's okay. It's all okay. Ah, too slow. Waiting for the turret to go green there. Didn't quite get it off. Now I'm probably just going to, yeah, see what all the fuss is about over there. I would definitely prefer to be up that top run, I think. Maybe I should just let the rest of my team do a little bit of work. Oh, sneaky scorpion. Hey, mongrel, where'd you come from? So, yeah, I'll just see if I can just let these guys make the mistake. They look to be uh, a little bit pushy. I really don't want to be the one that gets tracked in the middle of nowhere and hammered by the remaining guys up there. So, we might just be a little bit patient here. Sometimes it is the best option in the tank. It doesn't quite have the best hull. It's to just... Uh, Give it just a moment or two and see what happens now. I think that T32 he has. Unlucky. Now we go. We're going to take real advantage of that. Come on, T34. <laughs> what did you do? You might have missed. Okay. And the low has bounced. Excellent. Now it's time to go. Let's get amongst it. The guys up top have done excellent work there. Always enjoyable when the team has a good game. Now we've got to put the herd on this guy. Really push him back. And then cover the middle for the rest of our team as they approach from the other flank. So, so far, 1,300 damage, block 1,770 though, so really performed in that, uh, just sort of hold the line and absorb some damage sort of roll, and there's the low with this exposed bottom plate there. Um, definitely not, not a tank you really want to be charging forward in, I don't think. Uh, certainly not the way that I've found to play it, and it seems to work for myself. You really want to be in the group, um, and if you have an opportunity to get out sideways and, and absorb a little bit of damage, especially with your turret, then certainly do so. That's what the tank is for. Ah, oh, yep. Didn't aim that one in at all. What not to do in the T32, guys. Oh, my God, get this T49 here while he's reloading. Uh, but yeah, so as I was saying, if you can use your turret to great effect, do so, but just be very aware that your hull is not worth anything. So if you're caught out, it can be very quickly game over for you. So what we got going on here? This T49, nice juicy light tank would be awesome. There you go. Is. Oh dear. Mark that up. But we did a little bit of ramming damage to him, so happy with that. <laughs> That's probably to make up for that awful shot that I just fired then. But we did a little bit of damage. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Two tanks remaining, both tank destroyers, and it looks like they're both in that other corner of the map. So here we go. Not really a situation. Oh, one left. Not really a situation here where we need to use the ridge or to use the armor, it's pretty much the fact that I've got a lot of hit points remaining and I need to get out in front of the rest of our guys to hopefully not lose any more tanks and get this TD destroyed as soon as possible. If we could find him of course, they are notoriously hard to spot but here we go, the S1, oh no, he turned, but I tracked him, oh dear, these my last two shots have been pretty rubbish there, that's uh, yeah that's that, uh, Scorpion's death is definitely a bit of contribution by me there. That's a bit, a bit of a sad, uh, sad outcome for that Scorpion. And we are back in the garage, guys. And that was a victory for our team. Excellent start to the day in the T32. That was my first victory for the day in this tank. And uh, knocked off another 2488 XP on my run to the M103. So in this case, a Master Badge second class. Meh, I'll take that. That's not too bad. Uh, shell proof. We have a fire for effect and a bruiser. Happy with that. So we have a look at the team. Overall, some excellent scores in there. The E75, well, yeah, he went where all the other heavies didn't go. And uh, looks like he had a bit of a free ride there. But, uh, you know, you get that. And uh, unlucky for the low here. He, um, I think, may have just done what I was saying probably shouldn't do in the T32. Is try to push forward without really having a look around at what's happening. In, in the uh, with the team around you where your allies are and where the enemy are being spotted so he probably went out there thinking he had an opportunity a couple of other enemy tanks were spotted and he got caught out 
Um, so in this battle, 1,807 damage, 829 XP. So that's what I'm more more happy with. This is, you know, I would probably like to have done 2,000, but I was probably a little bit more cautious than I needed to be. Uh, but certainly happy with the, uh, the survival. And that is a good chunk of XP. Uh, compared to the scores of most of the other team, I'm happy with 829 in the Tier 9 battle. So made 22,988 credits. Blocked 1770 damage, which is uh, I'm happy with as well. Meant I was sort of that's damage that uh, perhaps could have been inflicted on somebody else, and I'm more than happy to take that off them. And yeah, like I said, 1807 damage. So I do have a premium account, so that gives me a little bit extra credits. Um, I just see, you know, something something's really wrong with uh, the way that uh, World of Tanks does its credit rewards, but you know. Small price to pay, I suppose, a few dollars uh, a week for premium, just to ensure you're still well in the black with the credits. All right, that's it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I will be bringing plenty more World of Tanks content to you. Uh, for for the moment, it will be primarily me playing and commentating a little bit on on the games that I've played. Um, and soon in the future, hopefully, I will be doing some other commentary on some other games. But for now, it'll just be me grinding and sharing my experience of the tank with you. And hopefully, it, can, it might be able to give you a little bit more insight into what your thoughts are uh, and your play styles of those particular tanks. So perhaps even present a little bit of new information for you. I know I've certainly watched a lot of videos, uh, primarily Quickie Baby, if anyone's familiar with him. Some excellent World of Tanks content. Uh, he's very methodical and very analytical in the way he plays. And certainly, his stats represent the, uh, the excellent... Uh, performances he's put in um, but uh, sometimes it can be better to have more laid back uh, here's how I feel while I'm playing it information so uh, hopefully it's been informative for you guys and hopefully you enjoy the video if you did please consider giving it a like I'd very much appreciate it and also if you uh, want to see more don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll be releasing daily World of Tanks and World of Warships videos for you to enjoy thanks so much guys take it easy